Here we go. We're going to install wheel cylinders at five times normal speed. And we're going to start up here in the front. And unfortunately, there I put the camera. You can't see very well for the front. It'll get better in a minute here when we work on the rear wheel cylinder. But for now, I'll just describe it to you. There's uh, four bolts that go in through the backing plate and secure the wheel cylinder. And that's what I'm doing right now is putting those four bolts on. And it's fun to watch things at five times speed. Takes This really took 25 minutes in the real world. And you get to watch it in four minutes and 33 seconds. Okay, now the wheel cylinder's on. I'm installing the new brake line. There's a banjo fitting that goes on the back of the wheel cylinder. And then a flare fitting that goes to a T that's up at the end of the rubber brake line that you can see there in the screen. I'm using one of the new copper nickel alloy brake lines. They're less prone to rust and they're a lot easier to bend. You can actually fit them and bend them in place with your hands. You don't need a bending tool. Tighten up the T. Now it's time to move over to the back. Oh, well, wait a minute. I'm going to go make sure everything's tight in the front here one last time. Okay, it's all tight. We're ready to move to the back. And we can see better back here. So four, four bolts in the back going from the back to secure it on the backing plate. You can see the adjusting nut on the wheel cylinder is pointing down. In Land Cruisers, the rear wheel cylinder, the adjuster points down. In the front, it points up. Okay, time to attach the brake line. There's the banjo fitting and the bolt. Had a little trouble getting that to align up. So I decided to loosen up the T. That's going to come into play here in a sec. Okay, the rear banjo fitting's on. Tightening it up. Time to do the brake shoes. And you get to watch me do this four times because the spring keeps to po keeps popping out. So here's the first attempt. Oops, spring came out. Second attempt, oh, spring came out again. Third attempt, oh, spring came out again. Fourth time's the charm. Now if you watch this video carefully, you'll notice I loosened that T on the brake line T at the top and I forgot to tighten it here after I put the drum. So after this video ends, I took the drum off and got that tight.